folks, and welcome to our Saturday morning Simo Flange. I'm Matt. And I'm Mikey. Woo-hoo. Woo-hoo. Well, when you're sliding in the third and you feel that juicy turd. Diarrhea. Diarrhea. Man, we're just coming full circle. We're just going <laughs> to start this off like we ended last week. <laughs> When you when you're swimming through the pool and something isn't cool. Diarrhea. <laughs> Diarrhea. <laughs> the song at your at your that you sang at school or with all your friends that had endless amounts of of stanzas. I mean, if we're gonna be talking about Saturday morning stuff all the time, we gotta at least <laughs> act like we're you know oh, I'm loving it. Chilling on a Saturday morning because that's exactly what I'd be doing. Yeah. Talking yep. about diarrhea and turds, <laughs> a ju- juicy turds. Mm, yeah. Somebody told me today. Uh, I told them a joke, and then they looked at me. And, and now, mind you, this was in a professional setting, and it was actually one of the sweetest women that I've ever met. That has this just nice, beautiful, flowing voice where she should read audiobooks. She should be able, you know, it just kind of soothes you and calms you. A great professional woman. And when I told her this joke that was a little bit dirty, she laughed. And then she looked at me and she was like, I got a good one for you. She was like, what is the biggest surprise that you could ever have? And I'm like, I'm sitting here racking my brain, like, what is, what is, what's, what is the biggest surprise? Like, what is this punchline? Where's this going? Well, the punchline was actually just the most simplest thing, and she just looks at me and she goes, "A wet fart." <laughs> and coming out of her mouth, and just how simple and gross that was, I just lost it. I was like, oh my gosh, that is beautiful. When you look at Johnny Step, and he's a little overclap. Diarrhea. <laughs> Shout out to Johnny Step. Oh, big Johnny Step. I miss that man. I do too. He listens. Remember the time we had him surprise? I had him as a surprise guest for you and CJ. I do actually. That was one of the greatest moments. It was. It was in amazing. Sam Flange history. Yeah, I think we when had he walked donuts in the door. that night too. <laughs> we did. We had a good time, and then we surprised. I think uh, Mar- Sweet Marky Mark oh, oh. did a guest star one time. Oh, if only. That's who we need to get if on here. Only. That's who we need to get. Yeah, good luck. We might have to take this thing on the road. <laughs> take it to the farm. We take it to the farm. <laughs> Live from the farm. <laughs> it's Saturday morning table flange. Yeah. <laughs> I, would, I would 1,000% do that. I would, too. I would for wear sweet Marky Mar. I would, yeah. I would. I, I would wear nothing. <laughs> I, I don't care. Good morning, Angie. Nothing Angie. but like a straw hat and some galoshes. Your your rooster called it when he said cock a doodle do. <laughs> All right. So top five vehicles and play sets we didn't have but we wanted. Yeah, so after we looked at our list and talked about it last week, we were, you know, thinking, my gosh, there were so many that we didn't have. This that, list could go on and on. Yeah, for me, the, by this the way. this list might actually be longer <laughs> than the other one. Yeah, the the haves and the have nots. The have nots are very much longer. Yeah, I mean, we made the most out of what we did have and loved every second. Yes. But there were definitely some other things out there that uh, were advertised to us when we watched our cartoons that we just never got. That were in Sears Christmas catalogs that we never got, even though we circled vehemently. Circled every one of them. Every month. Other humping one of them. You hear me, Santa? You listening, Santa? <laughs> you hear me, Santa. All right, so I, I don't mind going first this time, but uh, I will say I'm going to be bold and say no cross. Oh, no, no. I, I said no crossover last time. You did say no, and you won. Congratulations. Uh, I, I need to let you have the choice if you want to do one or none. Uh, I'm going to go one. I have a, I think I'm, I feel stronger about one on here than I did the last okay. one. Okay. I actually All almost right. think I, there might be two. Oh, but I'm sticking with one. I'm gonna. Well, then I have to go zero again, and I hate that because I I think again I think you're right here, but we'll find out. We'll see. Number five is one I know you don't have. If this is your crossover, it's gonna blow me away. Mask was a great toy line for me, and Boulder Mountain mm. was the big playset, and I wanted that one so bad. That was their home base. Now, whatever you but, carried around from place to place, did you have an over-the-shoulder Boulder holder? <laughs> or did it just stay at home? Oh man, if no one's laughing at that one, you're too young, folks. You're too young. Uh no, but 
I wanted that to. All right, so. <laughs> That's so good you said that. What is your number five? So my number five, you know, last week I talked about the uh, Styrofoam airplane. So um, good. Now this one is something I did not have, but it's I'm going to stick kind of in this same genre. Because, man, sometimes you would see commercials for these things, but maybe not even really like commercials, commercials, because, you know, you really didn't see them being sold in the masses. Maybe I saw like a video or like knew a guy that had one, but it was those cool, bad A remote controlled airplanes. Do you remember those ones where? Oh my goodness, you're talking about top of the line yeah, stuff. Yeah, back yeah, then. yeah. Like stuff remote that maybe, control cars were in our, you know. Yeah, you I had a get bunch that, of those. No, no, but the but air player, airplane, you had to know someone. And I still to this day don't really understand how those they worked. It almost seemed like they had to put like gas in them or or something. My nephews lived by the bay, and they had remote controlled boats, and I thought that was really cool. But we had no need for one because we we weren't by a lake or a river or anything. So remote control boats weren't as cool until you see one mm-hmm. fly and you're like that's awesome yeah it's like thunder in paradise with hulk hogan <laughs> yes baby <laughs> sign me up but no so th- my next door neighbor had one of these but i was so young and his dad used it that i you know i never got a good glimpse at really like you know how it worked or how it got set up but it always looked very elaborate it was always very loud yeah and uh but it flew it, it flew and you and was, controlled where it flew yeah it was very receptive to the controls at least from what i could it tell. obey your command yeah, and i just loved it i wanted one of those things uh, oh but, i don't blame but i never you. even flew it i, knew I that, didn't know we we're talking about stuff that was out of our reach that we never get in our wild imagination you just said stuff that we never had I know. If that was the case, I would, why don't we go for hover car too? I didn't have one of those either. No, hover, but that's what about a, a hoverboard? That's an epic toy. Oh, it by is. The way. It, I mean, he, I mean, that's I an even, epic toy. That's know, so out of my league. You might not even when call I was it a kid. toy. It might have been more like an adult hobby <laughs> because they were they were I not in the kids section. Yeah, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he, ne- I never flew yeah. it. He never. No, let me technically, touch that it. wouldn't be. A, oh well, yeah. Because if no. you crashed it, then like uh-uh. that was that was someone's life savings. But still, for me, it was a toy, and I never touched it. And I still haven't to this day. Uh, My next one is an air vehicle from my favorite toy line, Superpowers, and it's the Batcopter. Oh, never had it. Obviously, if I had the Batmobile, that was my next part. Now, between the two, I wanted the Batmobile. Mm -hmm. And I told my mom that. But now that we had it, of course, give me an inch. I want the whole mile. I want the Batcopter now. And I kept asking for the Batcopter. Never was to be. Either my mom couldn't find it or she didn't care. Mm-hmm. But I was thinking, if we have both now, the Batman collection is complete. Yeah, it would uh, be. We had the Superman vehicle, which why does Superman need a spaceship? He can fly. I don't know. Yeah, he can fly. But we had the Superman vehicle. We had the <laughs> Lex Luthor vehicle that had the little grab claw thing that could grab someone, and that would hold on to a, a So that claw hero. was better than the Batmobile claw? It was better than Bell, oh, much better. And I had that Lex Luthor thing. And we had the Justice League spaceship it looked like a bubble with little TIE fighter wings or something. Man, I don't remember any of that. We, we had that one, too. And that one was kind of okay. But even though we got tons of the vehicles of the superheroes line, you know, she passed us up on the, uh, the Batcopter. It wasn't, wasn't in the deck of cards. I, I guess maybe she couldn't find it because I don't think that'd be any more expensive than the other ones I just named. But Well, I know what uh, you should ask for for Christmas next year. A Batcopter? Yes. Oh. Just, just say, like, I want the one from 1977. I thought you could tell me a wet fart. <laughs> you know, uh, oh, we weren't on the, we weren't on the air when we told this joke, so never mind. Whoops, uh, that one's gonna fly through everyone. No, I just told it. I just did. Said, you, did you tell it on the? Oh, okay, we did record that. Okay. Literally like five minutes ago. Okay, well, I, we were, we've been talking before then. <laughs> All right, good deal. So that joke did hit. All right, so I just ruined it by trying well, to explain well, it. Well, I said it. I don't know if it landed, but you know. <laughs> All right, what's your number three? Uh, my number four. Oh, number four. I'm sorry, I went first. Number four. Yes, my number four. Now, okay, so number five was similar last week and this week with airplanes. So number four is actually similar as well. I didn't do that on purpose. It just happened that way. I'm ready. So the one that I did have was the Hot Wheel Loop de Loop. We talked about that last yes. week. What I never had that I always wanted was the remote control like track that went up the wall. Do you remember those commercials yes, for like the remote control I cars? Do. That and on the ground would fly up the wall, wall and down a, on a curve. Super fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Inertia would keep it on the wall. I don't know what kept it there. I thought it was magic, but I never had one. <laughs> either my mom either it was too expensive or she didn't want me it's to the have devil's it. Work, or, but yeah. I want it. 
I have no idea why I never got it, but I always saw those I, commercials. It was an amazing commercial. Crystal clear in my head, what yeah. you're talking about. Yep. Crystal clear. It, but it was, but those weren't Hot Wheels. You know, those were the electric. It doesn't like, matter uh, because you race wanted car. that. Yeah. yeah. Now I, I, I did have another kind of, I guess, regular figure eight, you know, remote control thing where, you know, you they know, never really the stayed on the track like, very well because we always squeeze it to the very beginning. They fly off the track. They, yeah. It was all about gentle right. trigger and squeezes here and there. But you're a kid. You don't want to do that. You want to sh- zip it around as fast as it can. Nope. So that wasn't as good because I remember my buddy had one of those. I was like, oh, this kind of sucks. You're excited to get it. Um, we had a toy from, well, my grandmother had a toy, so it's probably from the 60s, probably. But you clicked down on it and released the little plastic man in a little uh, plastic car, a uh, formula race car, and the two of them would race down a little track, a swirly track and everything to the end, and you'd see you'd win. But you'd... you'd They'd get caught on the little, uh, whatever, the little thing that poked through the track, and when you push down the pin, it released the oh, car yeah, yeah. and shoot it down. And there's no motorized or anything about it. Right. But we would play. It was a blue car and a green car. Remember, we just raced those all the time. Maybe there are four cars. I can't remember. But there may have been a red and yellow too. Either way, you just race those cars and see who would win. Now that makes me want to play bumper cars. Thank you. It's a great game. It is a great game. It's a super great game. And there's red. And there's yellow, and there's mm-hmm. green, and there's and blue. blue. That's right. It's a great game. I love it. All right. So, you know what else I love? What? My number three. Yes. Uh, if you were to tell me, Matt, what vehicle or playset from the Star Wars timeline, uh, to- toy line, Kenner toy line, would you want? Um, I would say D, all of the above. <laughs> That's the right answer. There wasn't a bad one. Right. But one of many that stood out to me was the AT-AT. The four-legged walker. Oh, my God. That thing was huge. That thing was huge. A buddy of mine had it. Yes. And I never thought about stealing someone else's toys <laughs> until I saw that ad at. I was like, this thing is the best thing in that the world. That is a great pick, yeah. It is huge. It is menacing. It is now, just didn't, beautiful. didn't the top open and you could put General Veers in? Did, yeah, 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 yeah. You could put him in the cockpit. Right, right, right. With a driver, with right, a right. kind of stormtrooper snow driver. It wasn't a stormtrooper. It was a, a different stormtrooper with gray pants or something. Right. An ad at driver. Right. And then you had you could open up the side and fit a bunch of stormtroopers or people in there. Right. And it stood up. Yeah, I think it And I want to say it made noise, too. It might have. Shooting noises. Well, did they have... Either they had one that just did it all, or they had multiple. I can't remember. But there was one that walked on its own. That, that was, was a newer version. I think it okay. was a battery operated. Right. It, it, it would motorized. Click and walk on, so, yeah, 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 motorized one. This, I don't think the Kenner one did. Okay, okay. I could be wrong, but I don't think it was motorized. You're, you're probably right, but, but there was one. But it was unbelievable to look at. I mean, just stunning. Just stunning. No, if I walked into anybody's house right now and like, and I saw that, I would still be in awe. You know, I would they, want, I would steal it. Yeah. Probably now. Mm-hmm. I don't have the innocent scruples I did as a child, so now mm-hmm. I'd rob them blind. Scruples. Scruples. I did have, I think I had a board game named Scruples, though. That, really? that might have been the only Scruples I had. Well, hello. Kid. Yeah. Hello. All right, so what is number three for you? Okay, so my number three, since, you know, we are kind of getting into the Star Wars land here because, let's face it. You oh, know, Lord. The, the Kenner Star Wars, you know, line, like you said, man, they had a bunch of stuff, and I wanted a lot of it. Um, so this I did not have. My neighbor had it, and I loved it, and we played with it. Um, and you might have had it because I think you've brought this up before, well, but I it? didn't. And it was the C-3PO head that actually opened up. Open a carrying case. And it was a carrying case for for the figures. We had the Darth Vader one. Oh, yeah. But, but I wanted both because yeah. we had so many figures. Yep. Not everyone yeah. fit in that one. That ca- It's so awesome that you mentioned a carrying case because they don't make those anymore for toys. Probably not, no. No. Yeah. But a carrying case is what we you you loved because you could carry your toys wherever you yeah. went, and you didn't have a. Before then, it was like a little cardboard box or something right. you carry them in, or your book bag, or your book or, bag or something. But if you had a carrying case and, that yeah, separated and, each action but, figure, and those compartments were like built for you know the Kenner one, so they were the yeah. right height, the right yep. width, width. fit right in there. Anyone would fit, like a fat Gamorrean would fit in there. Yeah, a little Jawa could definitely rattle around in there. I always wanted one of those though, so mine just the C three PO one though. I lo- yeah, I liked that one better than Darth Vader. Don't know why. Wow, Darth Vader was kind of cool, but once we got the Darth Vader, of course, I wanted a C three PO. I think after that, you know, like for me as a kid. 
you know, because I was born in the 70s, and so I grew up with Star Wars like you did. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't really until I probably got into my teen years and adult years that I look back on it, and I look back in respect of Darth Vader and the Empire and the story that was told. But as a kid, I was very much into C-3PO and R2-D2 and the Ewoks and the good guys. So, yeah, I I really didn't think that much of, of... of the Vader one as much as I did the C-3PO. Good pick. Yeah. I thought you were going to snipe my next one. I don't know. Number two Mm -hmm. is, I think, the toy that every child strived for back in the day. Maybe so. My number two is what I would consider what every child strived for back in the day. Star Wars? It is Star Wars. Is it the Millennium Falcon? It's the Millennium Falcon. Whoa! (laughs) That's the one. You did it. You won. Because I didn't have that bastard, but everybody (laughs) wanted that. I mean, it's the coolest. Everyone, you would have sold your soul to Satan if he would have come up to you and said, I will give you the Millennium Falcon for your soul. Done. Let me ask you this, in all seriousness. When we look at the the original, and let's just say Kenner from 77 to 83, is there is there a toy that's more coveted and look at, than that Millennium Falcon? In my opinion, I say no. Not to the average 80s child, absolutely not. Like in that fact, was it. In fact, I, I, I'm afraid I don't want to snipe. Um, uh, the rest of these are the number one's toy too, right? Oh yeah. Uh, I'm gonna hold off on it because there's some there's some Grail. Well, I'm just sets. talking. I'm just talking Star Wars. Okay, okay. In, in the Star, I, 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 in the Star, Star Wars, Wars universe, okay. was there a better toy than that Millennium Falcon? Definitely the best vehicle. I'm thinking about the no, yeah. Because the TIE Fighter was nice, but the wings would pop off. That was cool. Even I that ad was big and cool. ad was big and cool, but, but no, I, 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 the Falcon's above it. The Falcon's above it. Yeah. The detail on that thing. Yeah. Was uh, Do you know they made a, a, a Mon Calamari cruiser toy they? too? Yes, they did. They I saw that. it. Um it's huge and it carries just a bunch of people in the middle. It's kind of like why'd they make this? Did it come with but an act bar? No, I don't think so. But but either way though, I didn't know they even made that starship. And of course they made a slice of the Death Star. Right. You know, when I first heard they made a Death Star toy, I'm thinking like the biggest toy ever created. It was, yeah. Because it has to be to scale, right? Right. Uh, but then later on, I saw. I was like, "Wait, is that it?" Because it was just like a slice of the Death Star or something right. like that. And I was like, "Oh, that's kind of lame." So I'm glad I didn't have that as a kid. But yeah, Falcon was just. And I knew a buddy. I knew a guy who had it. And I don't know if I told you this story, but he was the Sid from Toy Story. He destroyed mm. his toys, like the little robotic, the remote controlled robot with holding a tray. Mm-hmm. You could bring a Coke and have him bring a Coke to you, you know, and stuff. That's mm-hmm. the only thing you could do with him. Well. My buddy got one of those robots and then smashed him with a rock to open up and pull out his circuits and say, ooh, cool circuit boards, the moment he got it. <laughs> and when he shows the Millennium Falcon, we were just all like in awe that he had it. And he goes, now watch. And he picked up a huge brick and went, meteor shower. What happened afterwards, I don't know, because I blocked it out of my <laughs> consciousness. I might have blacked out. I remember a high-pitched squeal probably coming from me. <laughs> And Some then people feeling just light want in to the watch head. the world burn, <laughs> and he did. And, and then you did. picked up that. He brick is sitting in a jail cell somewhere. And, yeah, and he said meteor shower. When, but when he did that, I was like, oh, uh, uh, you know, I, I you know, I, I was always that screaming up at the sky. Obi Wan, why didn't you tell me? It's not true. It's impossible. As he's just destroying it, he's destroying a piece of me died that day. When the I'll Falcon, never join you. Yeah, I never joined you. Oh man, it was it was horrible. It was horrible to I watch. Can't even he destroyed the Falcon and laughed while he did it. And I was like, why would you do that? It's like I if I knew the number to nine one one as a kid, I would have <laughs> called it and had him arrested. <laughs> I was really stupid back then. But, uh, yeah, I, I I was just so... I, that was the day my childhood died. No, I'm kidding. Yes. That's where your mind split and, you know, it was all downhill. I mean, I mean, Santa doesn't exist. I can handle that. But the mighty falcon being destroyed in front of my eyes? No. Please, I'll tell you anything you want. You want to know what kind of underwear I'm wearing and what's written on my initials? I will give you those initials. I will give you that underwear. You can pull down my pants in the public uh, at recess, and it's fine. As long as you're promising me a Millennium Falcon, I will take the embarrassment. But, but it didn't happen. 
I could hear some somewhere in the wind. I heard I heard I, I heard a Wookie cry. <laughs> <laughs> it was probably Caleb kind of... from the bushes. <laughs> Caleb was a baby baby. He didn't care. Oh my goodness! Yes, that Millennium Falcon was was one of the best. And oh, I wanted it so bad. Now, true story, I did get the uh, Hasbro the fir- when they re released the toys. Okay. Uh, was yeah, it was Hasbro, and uh, the first release back in '97, I got a Millennium Falcon. Do you have one now? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. Which yeah. one do you have? That one? The the original from from ninety seven. Nice. From the you know re, when the re release right, movies right, came right, out, right. The, Hasbro came out with the toys again. Yeah. I bought the entire first wave. Yeah. No, well, there were some good toys then. There Vehicles was the because uh, I'd always wanted a Millennium Falcon. What was the error? There was like a Boba Fett era one in that ninety seven uh, line. No, I think that was the original line where the missile shot. No, 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 no. In ninety seven, no. when they uh, oh no, the I don't remember this. Came out. There was an, uh, either a Boba Fett with like a something was wrong with him, and it oh, was I don't a, remember that an error. There was a big rumor that Princess Leia was short printed, and so Princess Leia was I, like twenty five bucks. I remember that. But then when you kept seeing them pop up at every toy store, right, you right, realized right. that rumor was fake. Right. But there was a fake that they because usually usually they used to short print the the female action figure because boy because girls didn't collect action figures boys mm-hmm. did and boys didn't collect the female one mm-hmm. so they would short print the female one but at this point that 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 stigmatism had passed so yeah. they're pumping her out like nothing so Princess Leia is, pff, I got twenty <laughs> but who cares no big deal I want more I want to be. On episode three, I want to see, want to see them Jedi dying at the hands of hit. What's his name again? Darth Vader. <laughs> anyway, all right. Well, you're number one. Uh, where they walk? Two two. Uh, where they run? Up on the sands of Tatooine, son. Wandering free. Wish I could be. In episode three. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Done. All right. So yeah, Falcon. Good job. Double mm-hmm. the the one cross over there. Okay. Now, there is one, but but wait, as Yoda says, there is another. Mm-hmm. There was one Star Wars playset. Oh, okay. I would have taken so above a Falcon. One. Okay, here we go. Uh, but I do agree with you. Every child would want the Falcon back then over anything. I'm interested to see what this is. But I wasn't just any child. I was a child of the '80s, and especially the mid '80s, where the only thing that lasted after Return of the Jedi was the legendary. Ewoks. Hmm. Did you the Ewok village? village? Oh man, I would have done anything for. Mm-hmm. I would have done any. Wasn't that a bigger mom, place that though with trees? Mom would have said, the... "You're wearing a dress to school today, mm-hmm. but after you're done, you get the Ewok village. I'm taking one for the team, mm-hmm. and I'm putting on that dress. Yep. And I'm saying, yeah, laugh mm-hmm. now. Yeah. But guess what? Uh-huh. I've got an Ewok village at my house waiting for me to un- unwrap. Yeah. Now, I didn't know this, or else I would have bought it, but Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, their Robin Hood's hideout, mm-hmm. is the Ewok village. They just repackaged it and repainted it. You're talking about like the actual set? From Prince of Thieves, yeah. I can remember that set, and I remember that, it looking the same. That play set but is I... the exact same. Kenner just repurposed it. Oh, the play set. I thought you meant the, play the set, set from the movie. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The set from the oh, toy. Oh, the play set. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Robin yeah. Hood's hideout. I mean, why not? The play set was the Ewok village. If it ain't village. broke. No, I... I but if I'd have known that, I'd have bought that when I was older because I still wanted it. Yeah. And I don't think I've ever found one. I mean, you know, at toy sales and stuff like that. Right. But I, I definitely wanted one. Huh. No, that's a lie. I did, I did find one at a flea market, and the guy was like, "What do you take for the whole package?" And I was like, "Oh man, I know he's wanting a lot for that playset, but I kind of want that." And I kept going back and forth on it, but I, I decided not to pull the trigger. I was like, "What am I going to do with the Ewok Village now?" Right. Play with it. Play with it. Play with it. Yeah. Yeah. Get your friends to play with it. Yeah. I'll play with it. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone can play. Everyone come over and play with it. Yeah. Yeah. The more the merrier. Yub Nub would play with it. Shoot. Yeah. He'd definitely play with it. Play with it all day. Yeah. In the dark. In the dark. It doesn't have to be in the, in, in the daytime. It could be at night. Doesn't matter. He's an Ewok. Yeah. Fuzzy. He He'd be going home. No, he would. You could have brought him his home. I could have. And it had been excellent. Wish I was playing with it right now. Mm. Me too. What's your number one? Well, my number one, I feel, is kind of obvious because I never had it. We talked about it before. Wait a minute. Um, and this is where I'm going to bring up our friend who hasn't been around in a while, Benjamin, or as I call him, yes. BJ. Yes. 
Castle Grey Skull. I never had a Castle Grey Skull, and you remember the story with that Ember Effer burnt it to the ground. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Castle Grey Skull. So okay. W- 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 that's why I, that, earlier that's, I said that's one of the grail ones I was talking it's a grail about. one it's a holy grail in my opinion it's like <clears throat> the holy grail and I never had it well, and I, oh man the other ones online that I read about and I kind of agree with even though I didn't I, I wanted it but not craved it was the Thundercats uh, mm-hmm. domain their big, big base the Thunder yeah, I really base, don't even remember what that looked like it was a huge play set yeah um, and then of course a lot of people always wanted that G.I. Joe what's it called Superdome or whatever that, that big one of the biggest play sets Battle Station or something like that I don't even remember that one either. I can't remember but I remember all of us or would talk about like, the yeah. rumor of that big toy hmm. and it was a huge toy for G.I. Joe you know, I don't know what made Castle Grayskull so popular. Like, I mean, it, I, it's a skull yeah, I mean, in a I castle. Get that. Yeah, I get Forget all that. Forget He-Man. Right. You would want that if it was just a generic toy because it just looks awesome. Right. I guess maybe it kind of like killed two birds with one stone. I was talking about that C three three PO carrying case. It doubled as a carrying case because it closed up. Yeah. So you could put everything. But I guess you know. And maybe they still do this to this day. I'm not really into like you know kids' toys and stuff like that. But I am always going to pick on newer toys in comparison to the ones that we had. I, but I but, don't think they're as good. But yeah, but opening that up, like you don't know the wonder uh, of, of a small child in the '80s. Whenever you know the Castle Grayskull or, or other ones of the of that ilk it, opened up, and on the inside. It had levels that you played with, ladders that you went up and down, things, projectiles that you shot, yes, you know, uh, and doors that you could go in and out of, windows and, that you could look in and out of. And this is what pisses me off. On a scale of that grand, there's nothing out there anymore. Yeah, that's, like that. I mean, but I, yet, that is for the male clientele. Look right. behind you. Hither stands a ginormous three-story Barbie dream house, the latest and greatest, with all the bells and whistles, tons of accessories, and it plays music, it lights up, three different lights up, several different sounds. It's got astroturf. It has astroturf. It's got a swing. You can have a golf set, or you can replace that with a pool, because it, you can put a pool in there instead. It, the, the toilet flushes, the shower runs, the, the uh, doorbell chimes, and the stove sizzles. And the oven tick-tock, tick-tock dings when you open and close it. I mean, that. They still make, quote-unquote, play sets. But the ladies get it now. Mm-hmm. The, the boys are screwed. Even this, when, I, when, I, when we put this together, I told my wife, I said, G.I. Joe would tear this up. I mean, I would play all. I, I don't care if it's a Barbie Dream House. I wouldn't let my friends watch me. But GI Joe would, as a kid, GI Joe would have torn that through that house. I thought that was just so cool. And of course, this is the ultimate toy that my girls play with every day. This thing is like four feet tall. Castle Grace is four feet. It's was taller like, than my kids. It was like a foot, maybe yeah. ten inches. But, but but that's the wonderment yes. that you're talking about with Castle Grace Skull. Because I saw that. Well, I mean, they screened their heads off when they when they unwrap the mm-hmm. present, and when they're playing with it. This is their world. Right. This is their... When you opened up Castle Grayskull, I know what you're talking about. You were in that world. You were in that world. Right. And it what didn't look, didn't seem like much, but it was the... There was only one thing that existed. Mm -hmm. Your action figures and And the drawbridge. And the drawbridge. I mean, the mouth went down. But you know, for me... I like this stuff. Like when I turn around and I look at this dollhouse, uh, it's not the dollhouse per se, because uh, this is a little, you know, big and Barbie-ish. Yes. But I've always loved and been enamored with kind of smaller model. Um, I'll, I'll use the word areas. Like I've always wanted a basement uh, to where I had like a model city. You know, like a model Dutch city oh, or yeah. something with like a train going through it. Like I've oh. always kind of really loved that stuff. So I've also really liked those doll houses, the ones that are like really meticulous. Not not ones like this that I know you know, you're talking about the ones play, that are smaller the, one but have 
furniture and everything. Right. So you know, there's yeah. a, there's a really, really, it may be the very first episode. Um, it's kind of going, you know, a little bit off of a different tangent, but um, Creep Show uh, on the side, what was it? Side, no, Shudder. Hello. They, Shutter, okay. Yeah. A couple of years ago, they started uh, with the little Creep Show, a couple of seasons of their anthology. And the very first one was about a uh, haunted dollhouse. So this girl bought a dollhouse and it was in her room. And when she went to sleep each night, like she would see like, you know, the little light or something turn on. And she would, you know, you could open it up. So you kind of opened up the front of it and you saw all the rooms and, you know, there's kitchens and bedrooms and living rooms. And they all had the little details with with sinks and couches and beds and whatever. And she would have little figures and she would put them in places. And then whenever she would wake up the next day, they would be in different rooms. Nice. And so, like, those little people would come alive and there was like a haunted spirit in there. But I just loved that wonderment. Um, and I've yeah. always loved that. like as a charm. A, yeah, because I've liked model cars. I like uh, little small worlds that you can kind of bird's eye view and no. kind of manipulate and stuff like that. Um, so I would get a miniature Waldo and put it somewhere in the village too. Yes, for people to try to find. Mm-hmm. Stick it underneath the bed. They would have killed yeah. him. It was they. The, there was that one. You'd have to watch it. It's a good creep show. Okay. But the, but that whole anthology. I know this is different. It's good. It's worth it. <laughs> Nice, nice plug at the end there. Yeah, all no, right. It's a good one. So, folks, tell us what you what, in the comments. Were there vehicles or play sets that you wanted as a kid? And we'll see you next time on Saturday morning. Samuel Flange. Wet fart.